Lewis Hamilton threatened by Toto Wolff as Mercedes F1 boss issues blunt warning. Mercedes, like the rest of their Formula One rivals, must balance preparations for new regulations in 2026 with their desire for success next season when Lewis Hamilton will race for Ferrari. Toto Wolff has warned Lewis Hamilton that Mercedes will be fierce rivals to Ferrari after he joins next term. Formula One will enter a new era in 2026 when new regulations come into force. Next year, teams will have to strike the right balance between competing for silverware in the short term and ensuring they hit the ground running when a new generation of F1 cars hits the grid. Team principal Wolff insists his Mercedes team is sticking firmly to their development trajectory. That's despite a slow start to the current season, which looked to vindicate the seven-time F1 champion's decision to leave, though they have since made impressive progress and Hamilton has won twice this term. Wolf is positive that this upward trend will roll into 2025 and told Autosport, this is the crux of the matter every year, and especially if you have such a big regulatory change, are you going to compromise one year or the other? But I'd like to take it from Nicky's, Lullader, motto when being asked, would you rather win this one or the next one? And he says, both. Sometimes it is much less complex than one thinks. Probably the transition of people and capability into the 2026 regulations is going to happen a bit earlier than it would under stable regulations, but it's not going to be game-changing. Nobody is going to switch the machines off in January unless you are really nowhere. But there is nothing to gain because between P10 and P7 doesn't make a difference for us anyway. We are fighting for victories and podiums and cannot write it off. The general belief within the F1 paddock is that Mercedes could pose a significant challenge with the introduction of the 2026 regulations due to their impressive engine development track record. Their power unit was a key factor in their dominance during the turbo hybrid era, which began in 2014 when the Silver Arrows embarked on an eight-year winning streak in the Constructors' Championship, and the buzz around their new engine is quite positive. Oh, Williams team principal James Vowles knows all about those efforts, given his many years working for Mercedes. And he gave his old employer his vote of confidence as he explained on the Beyond the Grid podcast why Williams have decided to extend their engine supply deal with Mercedes. He said, I think Mercedes have done an exceptional job, which is why I was very happy to re-sign back up for an extension to it. And I think you're going to see differences in power units that don't exist. Today, pretty much all power units are much of a muchness. I think that will all change in 2026 and you will see a difference between the power units. I don't think it will be the levels you saw in 2014 where there was such a wide spread between the field. Toto Wolff reveals Mercedes driver lineup hope after shootout question raised. Toto Wolff responded to questions of a shootout between George Russell and Kimi Antonelli next season by saying he hopes to continue with his lineup for a long time in the future. Russell's current contract with Mercedes is reported to end at the conclusion of next season, while Antonelli's first deal with Mercedes covers the 2025 season. Toto Wolff, I would very much hope that we're going a long time with these two. It was announced at the Italian Grand Prix in August that teenage Mercedes junior Antonelli will be replacing Lewis Hamilton when he departs for Ferrari next season, with Russell set to partner him in his fourth season as a works Mercedes driver. With Mercedes team principal and CEO Wolf having spoken openly about the possibility of looking to bring Max Verstappen to the team earlier this year, he later confirmed he is no longer flirting outside the team to try and sign the reigning world champion. With that, he is looking to make the situation with Antonelli and Russell work to the best of his ability next season. When asked if the F1 2025 season would form a potential shootout between the two Mercedes drivers next year on Sky Sports F1, Wolf responded, I would very much hope that we are going a long time with these two. They have been in the junior program since a very early age, and I think it's clear that you always pick the best ones, but, as it stands, as they are showing, that is the lineup. For Russell, he said he and Mercedes are looking to continue together for the indefinite future having risen through their junior ranks to a factory seat with them in 2022. 
having already won the qualifying head-to-head -head battle against Lewis Hamilton this year, when asked if Antonelli's arrival will place a different kind of pressure on him in 2025, the Mercedes team principal remained diplomatic. I think he said it very well, there's always pressure, Wolf said. You know, you're going against the gold. You win, then people are saying, is the gold still the gold? You're going against the kid, the other way around, you know? So that's okay, you've got to cope with that. Toto Wolff explains Mercedes' Kimi Antonelli strategy in a contaminated Williams claim. Unlike George Russell, Kimi Antonelli goes straight into the Mercedes upon his F1 2025 debut, but there is a very clear tactic to that. And Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff would explain their thinking as they look to nurture their protege as he takes his first F1 steps, rather than him arriving contaminated by starting out at Williams. Mercedes want a pure Kimi Antonelli. When Russell made his step up to Mercedes in 2022, it came after three seasons in Formula One with Williams, a Mercedes power unit customer, and teenage sensation Antonelli was also linked with going down that path, either as a mid-season Logan Sargent replacement or for F1 2025. But, Williams went with Carla Sainz from F1 2025 on a multi-year deal, while Franco Colapinto has replaced Sargent until then, with Antonelli going straight into the Mercedes F1 2025 lineup as their replacement for seven-time world champion Lewis Hamilton, who is on his way to Ferrari. And for Wolf, the methodology is clear. Now is the time to make a change in terms of generation after the departure of Lewis, because nothing will be as it was before, Wolf explained to Auto Sprint. We will be dealing with a young team next year. Going into the season with George and Antonelli means we are opening a new era. The previous era was great and now is the time to turn a page and make a new start. The reason Antonelli is driving immediately for Mercedes and will not first make his debut at Williams is because you want him fresh, not contaminated, if you can put it that way, by external experiences. If he went to another team first, he would learn different things, behaviors, have different notions about technical things than us. We want to avoid that. I think it only brings advantages to have a young driver with you right away. Mercedes' strategy with Antonelli will play out from F1 2025, but someone who feels this is not the right path is former F1 team boss Eddie Jordan. In his opinion, starting out at Williams is what would have been best for the 18 year old. Kimi Antonelli, he should be in Williams or somewhere else where Toto can place him. It's what we've been saying for ages, said Jordan on the Formula for Success podcast. Remember what Bernie Eccleston, former F1 chief, always, always used to say when you go looking for money, or you go looking for anything you like, he says, earn the right. That's all he'd say, earn the right to ask. And so at the moment, I don't see how Antonelli has earned the right. Not yet. He doesn't give me that factor of total belief. Antonelli crashing out early in his F1 debut during FP1 at the 2024 Italian Grand Prix heightened the skepticism for some regarding Mercedes' decision, but Russell fully backed his team's call to name Antonelli his new teammate. When I look back to when I was 18 years old there's obviously so much demand, he told media including we in Monza. But I think as a driver, you have the speed or you don't have the speed and I'm very confident Kimi has the speed. I think everybody on their journey is going to make mistakes. That's part of life and part of this sport. No doubt Kimi is going to learn from yesterday, his crash during FP1, but he's definitely got the speed to help Mercedes get back to the front of the grid for the next year onwards and that's exactly why he's going to be in the car alongside me next year. I've always believed that you gain a lot over time with experience in terms of how to deal with a race weekend, the tyres, the team, but I don't believe I'm any faster today on broad pace than I was when I was 17 years old. And I think you've either got the speed or you don't have the speed and Kimi absolutely has the speed. He's proven that in all of his categories, there will be mistakes on the way, as there were for for all of us, I think every single driver on the grid in Formula 1 in the first couple of seasons made very visual mistakes, and that's going to be obviously highlighted more for any driver who's at the front of the field. But Kimi, he's exceptionally fast. 
No doubt he's going to be really keeping me on my toes next year, and I'm really looking forward to a new challenge. Three years working with Lewis has been exceptional, but I am really looking forward to seeing what we can do together from next year onwards.